so long. Well, he's got a camera on your paint and saw. Yeah. Between the two of them, you get everything. <laughs> Hopefully there's nothing really interesting you see. It's just boring, but you never know.
bend the gears on them too, like that. Coming up or down? No, I had one. One down. The pressure must have leaked out. Oh. You know, it's been since. I haven't flown this since September of 15. Hey. Yeah. Wow. Thanks. Is this the one that has the 250s in it? 50 engines? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it had gas it's in it? DA 50s. Yeah. 250s? Holy shit. Yep. Yeah, and it went in on its first flight. I think that was a, oh, that, that was a green one? Oh, this one? This one? This one yeah. Previous owner. He rebuilt the thing. Never know it. president is in here because he'd say, see boys, that's how they're supposed to go and that's how quiet they're supposed to be. This, what would he say? <laughs> that's how they're supposed to fly and that's how quiet they're supposed to be. Yeah, right. Is this fiberglass? Yeah, yep. Oh, yeah. Noise is a big issue up here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're starting to complain. Well, you, you knew that was coming. I, I don't know if they are. Well, we don't want it. we got to avoid it. He, he said it right at the meeting. He said, our noise I got thrown out, out of my first hot rod club when I was 17, and now I'm 77, and I make noise, I'm going to get thrown out of here. I think I've been here for four years now. When I first joined, I was like, wow. I'm surprised there's no problems with noise, you know. Yeah, they so far, they knock on wood. Last year, a lady was really complaining. Oh, really? Oh, I heard her. I sat here. She was here at the gas for me that we had in Labor Day. She says, why can't they buy their own tail? I Oh yeah, we'll just go out and buy land. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> buy land? Yeah. Well, yeah. That's yeah. what we did at NCRCC acres. somewhere. That's what we did at NCRCC, but that didn't solve the problem necessarily. Where was that? What club is that? Ellington. Ellington. They did a connected dragway that lasted 25 years, and they came and shut it down. Nobody likes noise. They move in on it. Yeah. And then they'll get rid of it. Did you used to go up there? The Colchester? I used to right there. Yeah, me too. When? Oh, years ago. It yeah. was closed in 85. Didn't so much complain about the I went there in 1960 when it was built. Didn't like the constant. I, constant I was there until, oh, I don't know. I can appreciate it. So they, Late they 60s. Till the, the you remember Joey Santangelo? Oh, yeah. I had the same car, but house, but he wound up yeah, getting a freaking, he held the national record sure not too long back. Yep. Yeah, he, he had a Cadillac, one of them, one of them four-cylinder caddies, front-wheel yeah. drive, yeah. and the lowest stock glass you could get, and he, and he, held, yeah. the, he held the national that's six record. Six I was on 10, that's a working four. the pits with him. Wait a minute, not Joe Santana, I'm thinking of Mark Yacobone. You remember him? Sort no, of. No, Santangelo's kid now. He, yeah, I think he, he drives. He drives. A lot of guys hire him, you know, as a driver. Okay. I guess the kid's pretty Didn't good. Know. Yeah, he is pretty good. Joe had a street road. Really? Well, I met Joe in 1966. He had a Chevelle Super Sport. Yeah. And so did I. Uh, he has two 